Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This will get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with new central bank rate cuts are expected this week from some, but not all. Over the weekend, the headlines say the US economy added 227,000 jobs in November, compared to an upwardly revised 36,000 in October, which was heavily influenced by the Boeing strikes and the disruptions caused by hurricanes. The November rise was above market expectations of 200,000. Meanwhile, the jobless rate inched up to 4.2%. This move probably raised the chance of a 25 basis point rate cut at the Fed's next meeting next week, taking the lower bound to 4.25%. Looking behind these headlines, total employer payrolls rose to 160.6 million, a 525,000 jobs rise from October and a 2.2 million rise from a year ago. This is a significant swelling of employer payrolls. Average hourly pay is up 4% in November from a year ago. Average weekly earnings are up 3.7% as overtime work slipped. These are better gains than were expected. This overall bullish labour market report was reinforced by the University of Michigan sentiment survey for December, which rose for a fifth consecutive month to its highest level since April. And Canada also released employment data for November over the weekend. Their employment rose 54,000, almost all of it full-time jobs. But their jobless rate rose to 6.8% and a seven-year high as more people entered their labour market as their participation rate rose. And India reviewed its policy rate late Friday and made no change, although they did cut their reserve ratio for liquidity support reasons. In China, home loan interest rates are being driven down into the 3% range, depending on borrower financials, and there is talk that they may fall below that in coming months. There is widespread news talk about how their housing market and land sales to developers are recovering, but the real evidence is yet to emerge. But their logistics index indicates improvements in their overall economy activity, reaching a seven-year high. The US Treasury 10-year yields now just on 4.15% and unchanged from Saturday. And the price of gold will start today at $2,633 an ounce. A little change from Saturday, but down $25 in a week. And oil prices are 50 US cents lower at just over $67 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is just over $71 a barrel. A week ago, these prices were $1.50 higher. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at 58.3 US cents and unchanged from this time Saturday, but down almost a cent in the past week. Against the Aussie, we're down 10 basis points at 91.3 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we've also uh, held pretty much unchanged at 55.2 Euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today at just on 68 and unchanged from Saturday, but down 60 basis points in a week. We're approaching a six-month low, primarily driven by the surging US dollar. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow.